Over this and the next few lessons, we're going to learn about how we work with Houdini's different network contexts. Every process and operation that we carry out in Houdini is done through laying down and wiring together networks of nodes. As we've already seen, as we work directly in the viewport, Houdini will sometimes create nodes automatically for us, and a lot of the viewport operations that we carry out will be directly adjusting the parameters of nodes. Houdini has a few thousand different nodes in total, and it uses the concept of having different network types, or in other words, different network contexts, to separate the nodes into sets of nodes used for different types of work. The start to finish process of creating 3D imagery and animation involves a number of different types of tasks and processes. A typical 3D project may involve creating models, so building geometry, applying textures and materials to the surfaces of these models, possibly rigging those models, animating them, lighting the scenes, simulating effects such as fire, smoke or water, then rendering the scenes and then compositing and post-processing those rendered images. Each of these processes requires a different kind of toolset and workflow, and all 3D software has its own way of compartmentalizing these different tasks and the toolsets required for them, and Houdini uses what it calls contexts. We can think of a context as a toolbox, which contains the specific set of tools and materials needed for a certain type of task. One of the great things about Houdini is that the workflow always remains consistent because every process is built around laying down and wiring together nodes. The idea of a network context is that it lets Houdini know what kind of work we want to do so that it can serve as the appropriate set of nodes for that type of task. We can compare Houdini's method of organizing types of work with a real world comparison. If we take, for example, the process of building a house, it's a reasonably complicated process, which often takes around a year to complete, and it involves many different skills and tools. Different parts of that building process are handled by different teams of specialist tradesmen, each with their own dedicated tools and materials. The brick layers materials are bricks, sand, cement and water, and their tools include cement mixers and trowels. Carpenters work with timber, nails and screws, and their tools include wood saws and nail guns. The carpenter can't use a cement mixer to machine timber, and a bricklayer can't set bricks using a nail gun. Each tradesman's tools, materials and skills are specific to the tasks which they carry out. We can think of these trades as a context. Each context contains the materials and tools that the tradesman needs for their specific task. In the next lesson, we'll look at what each of Houdini's network contexts are and what those tool sets do.